But don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and of course comment this video to be eligible in one of the prizes of the giveaway that is sponsored by Manduka Europe and Rolga Health. I'm looking forward to receiving your feedback but first I'll meet you on the map. Hi Yogi, my name is Maike and today next to me is again the snoring, currently snoring Simba. Um, Today's class is all about happy, healthy hamstrings and hips and that's what we work on for today and we start therefore in a reclined position. Reclined means we are coming on our backs and it's called, I don't want to throw a lot of Sanskrit names on you, it's called butterfly pose um, which is when your feet are together like an open book and then you find a reclined shape and before you lay down I always recommend push the hips a little bit forward towards the heels and then you come on your backs I mean, you can go on your back first and then move your feet into the butterfly reclined shape but it's then a little bit more heavier to bring or to to shorten the, the distance of feet and hips. So I want to bring one hand on your belly and one hand onto your chest and close your eyes for a moment. Recognizing how the belly and the chest are moving into your hands and moving back. Observing the breath, the breath like this is very nice because you have something you you yeah you feel it. You don't have to just only feel the going up and down. You already touch it. You feel it within your hand, and that's a different neural um, or neuronal um, sensation. And just make a check of if it's slow, steady and deep. So if you don't feel anything in your lower hand, in the bottom hand, the breath could be more deep. So you could try to bring more air into the belly. And if you feel your hands are moving very quick up and down, try to slow it down a bit. Allow your shoulder blades falling into the mat, into the ground. And the knees are gently pushing or falling to the side. Notice if you have cold or warm feet. And bring all the intention more inside rather than outside. Good. Yeah, good dog. job. And then open your eyes and Bring the knees, draw them into the chest, but keep the, the knees open, so not closed, very right. And that allows you shaking, but from left to right. That's a very nice massage in the lower back area. Um, it can be very hard and tough if you do this on a very hard surface. Um, so the facial release is then just even more, but yeah, even more intensity is just a different feeling in the body. So if it's too much, put a blanket underneath. Good. Slowly bring it back. Put the right leg first on the ground as we're starting with the leg today and try to bring the ankle on the right leg. So maybe this is already enough and then you use the left hand to push 
the knee away from you. If you are fine, you can release the knee. Um, maybe now you feel there's the limitation for you and that's okay too. It's as well pretty tough. And then you keep using the left hand to press the knee away. That's reaching more into the left hip, outer hip area, into the glute area that we want to target here. Um, but maybe you'll feel fine. So you can interlace the fingers behind the hamstring. If you're very flexible, um, some people like to take their uh, chins. I don't like that either. So find your personal preference here and um, within this challenge, I always want to encourage you to experiment with your body. Um, don't take everything as granted or not, not granted, but as the one way you can do in yoga. There are so many options. Get. Allow the tailbone falling down, the shoulder blades rooting on the mat. And take a last breath. Okay, and then slowly release. Just release the hands, not the feet. Bring the hands alongside the body to give you a little bit more stability to move <laughs> your butt up. So if it's really, really tough, you can use the hands under the butt cheeks to give you a little squeeze and to little, a little helper to move your hips up. But try to ma maintain here with your own balance, with your own strength for free. Two, keep squeezing the right and left butt cheek. And one, you are allowed to release it. And we switch this side. So same movement here. Start slowly in your first option, which is here. You use the right hand, press it away. It feels good, all right. Go on, move on until you find your personal preference. Always keep in mind, Shoulder blades are down, okay, so you don't have to look how you're performing. <laughs> Keep your head so you feel the surface of your head, you feel the surface of the shoulders, of the tailbone, Ooh, and you breathe. So I don't know if you can hear Zimba snoring. He's snoring very loud here. Um, so I hope you get some of his chilliness, his relaxation into your home. One more breath into your belly and chest. And one more full breath out. Good. Slowly release your hands. Bring them next to the hips to push through the left butt cheek, through the left heel, and you can roll a little bit more on your shoulder blades. <laughs> Try to fall the right knee down for free. Two, and one, slowly release. Feet coming together like we did in our butterfly shape, but this time we make it a little bit more dynamic in our butterflies. So try to bring the hands again next to your hips or you take them a little bit wider. Just try it um, and experiment again with it. And then start to squeeze the glutes and to move up and you move down. If it feels very new to you, you can keep your hands a little bit like a protection just to get you the confidence that there's nothing yeah, there's no painful movement in it um, because you are moving on the outer edges of your feet and that feels like, oh, there's just this little tiny surface. I do have enough surface to, pu to push myself through, but you have. You're doing good. So give yourself five more. Three. Two. And the last one, we hold for five, four, squeeze the glutes, open the chest, three, two, and slowly release. Just squeeze and draw the knees towards the chest, cross the ankles over, 
and roll over, roll over another time and maybe <laughs> travel a little bit back. So we're coming into our downward facing dog and we do one of my favorite hip stretches ever, which is a pigeon. We do the full pigeon um, at second, so we do the occasional normal pigeon first and therefore you try to bring one leg up and bring the knee <laughs> towards the right elbow Bring the knee down, the chin down, and now keep the toes tucked. <laughs> keep the toes tucked. You can slide the feet a little bit back. And you can come on your fingertips to naturally lengthen your arms and push through the ball of the feet, broaden the chest, and hold it here. For three, two, squeeze the quad, and one, hands down, coming back into your downward facing dog and we do the same on the other side, left leg up, knee in front, down, right leg extends and keep it tucked. And you can come on your fingertips and we slowly start to open the hip, flex hip flexors first, which are tight in most of the human uh, bodies for free. Two and one. Hands down. And we do one more round in the normal pigeon. Again, three legged dog as a transition. Knee in front and coming up. So if it felt already good, you can start very gently to pull um, or push the toes to the left side when the right leg is in front. Coming back to downward facing dog, step back, free leg a dog, knees down, step back, stay on the toes for free. So what I mean is turning the toes outside. They can point back, but you can start to give you, you this feeling of turning them. And then coming back to downward facing dog and just paddle the knees for a moment. Three. For two. And for one. Good. Last time. <laughs> Free leg dog on the right side. And this time, knee to the right elbow. Turn the toes out to the left side. Then you release the chin and bring the left leg into a strong line. And I recommend you coming onto your forearms. That's the most releasing or relieving pose and now you have two options which you decide how you do it you can keep your leg active that's when um, your back leg is engaged the quad is engaged you can see it maybe because my knee is not touching the floor the passive option is a knee a leg that's completely relaxed so toes are pointing back that gives you a long line into the front part of the ankles, another stretch here, which is another tight zone in a lot of humans' bodies. And you find, or try to find a balance of the hips, so not rolling to one side, not to the other. It's happen happening naturally when you stay here for a few more breaths. Good. One more. And then slowly release it. Hands underneath the shoulder. Tuck the toes and stepping back to downward facing dog. Paddle the knees. Good. Inhale, free leg a dog. Exhale, knee to elbow. Toes turning outside. Chin down. Back leg comes straight and if you have uh, tucked toes 
I recommend, please, 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 untuck them now in the full pattern. Forearms giving you the stability in the, of the, for the front body. And to try to find a horizontal line for both hip bones. So the groin is naturally coming down. And same here, using the passive or the active option. It's really up to you. Do you want to re relax more? Take the passive. You want to stretch, uh, strength, uh, strengthening the legs as well with stretching your le the legs. Then do the active. For three. For two. And for one. And the good thing is we didn't come back to downward facing dog. You come onto your um, sit bones. You cross your leg, legs in a just normal seated cross leg position. Turn yourself towards the right. Inhale, coming on your fingertips to give you a little bit more lengthening. And exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale again. And exhale, coming back. Circle the arms towards the sky and falling over the front of the legs. Don't look forward. Try to find the navel to just bring again another little stretch in the outer hips for three, for two, for one. Slowly crawling backwards and simply switch the, the legs. Circle the arms. Exhale, falling down for three, for two, and for one. Good. And again, crawl it back. Circle the arms for the last time up. And bring the hands in front of your heart and appreciate your practice. Always take a little bow for yourself and Zimna and me appreciate your time and see you on the mat. <laughs>